Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Minecraft project. Install it onto Mac. So, what we're going to do is go into Safari. 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 And you're going to go, you go like this. You're going to go up to the address bar and go www.planetminecraft.com. Then it's going to bring you to this, this page right here. It's going to show you a bunch of stuff. And what you're going to click on is projects. Um, you pick the project you want. And I'm just going to pick a random one here. So just look for them. Okay, say you want this. Well, some of them don't have the download link. So, yeah, that's going to happen a lot. This one doesn't have the download link either. Okay. That <laughs> doesn't really matter which one you pick. Okay. This has the download. It's called the World Save. Um. Those are the comments. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download it, and that's gonna go to either Mediafire or it's gonna go straight up here on this little bar. But this link is Mediafire. And I'll put the Planet Minecraft link in the description. Show sure, that didn't work. Okay, I'm just gonna pick a new one, I guess. That doesn't have the Minecraft world safe. I'll show you how to this is the world save right here. That thing. So let's just get Aftershock and the Minecraft world save. It's bringing us to Mediafire. And it's a zip. You need a zip. You can't have .rar. You can't have .exe. You can't have any of those. You need the .zip. Because it only works. That's how it works on Mac. This isn't loading. My internet's not that good, probably. No. On this one. Okay, well here it is, and you're gonna press on download, and then this little bubble thing, and then it's gonna come right here, and you're gonna wait for that. It shouldn't take that long if you're downloading a map, and then you're gonna press on the magnifying glass, and then it brings you up to your downloads. You can exit out of that now, exit out of the internet, then you're just gonna drag that on your desktop, then you're gonna open it up, and if it has any .txt files in it, delete those. Like some are readme text and stuff. This is okay. So that's the world. You can rename it if you want. I'm just gonna rename it Minecraft. Um. Then you're gonna go. You're gonna right click on um, this Finder thing, the smiley face, and go and go to folder. And you're gonna go. No, what you're going to do, you're going to go to your home. I don't have it. <laughs> you're going to go on application, support. No, you're going to go on library, application, support, Minecraft. And then when you're in the Minecraft, um, you go on to your saves. I don't know why that's in there. Um, and then you're just going to drag that world into there. And that's how you do it. So now let's prove it. Go there. And loading and single player Aftershock. So yeah, it's named Aftershock, but you can rename it if you want. And you have it. This is an adventure map. Oh, cool. Rules. No mods. Don't break your... It's, don't. What's happening? So, yeah. That's it. Bye-bye.